Twinkies, welcome back to my channel. This is Mitindi Jacobs. Today's video is short and sweet. I'm going to be showing you how to organize under the sink. If you're anything like me, then your sink is probably one of those neglected areas in your kitchen. It's untidy. It's one of those spaces that are really difficult to organize because of all of the plumbing and things. But I figured out a system that I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. Please watch until the end and let me know what you think. Let's get right into it. So let's start in our utility room. This is the room from where we wash our dishes and do our laundry from. This room, the intention in here was just to create an ambiance of zen, a uh, room where I can come and wash my dishes in peace. I find washing dishes quite therapeutic and I wanted this room to reflect that. So this is the sink that I'm going to be showing you underneath. You see we've got a lock over there because of my son so that he doesn't get in there. So Rafik is my underneath the sink is about as ugly as it can get. We've got this big box, this geezer box underneath here that I can't do anything about. It's huge, takes up a lot of space, so I had to find a way to work around it. And as you can see, I've used organizational baskets. There's a lot of plumbing here that I just couldn't do anything about, and I, so I had to work around it. And I used organizational baskets and lint bins, which I'll show you now. Uh, I've started making my own cleaning products. Let me just show you some of them. This purple one, uh, this purple one over here is just spirits mixed with water and I use it to sanitize all over my house, particularly the toilets and I bought the spirit bottles from Crazy Stop, Crazy Plastics. This one is vinegar, uh, dishwashing liquid and then water. Uh, I use that for my kitchen counters mostly. So I like to buy refills. It's always cheaper to buy refills, uh, sunlight and refill whatever you can get as opposed to buying the original bottle. It's so much cheaper guys. So I just get bottles in which I put all of that in. So over in here, this little basket contains all the stuff that I use in my toilets to make them smell nice and fresh. So my cleaning lady knows to just take that uh, that entire thing and then go and use that. Oops. So that uh, that is just the powder that we throw uh, into the toilet pot to refresh it and make it smell nice. It's toilet fresh powder. Love it, love it, love it, love it. One of my favorite products for the house. Over here, I've just got some extra stuff, some tile cleaner, some toilet bowl cleaner. Over here, I've got some window lint. Um, yeah, mostly window lint also in the basket. Then over here, I've got the lint bins. These things are astounding. These, I, I, I'm, I'm so happy I came across these. I used to use them for my business career events. So a lint bin is basically just this container that you stack up on each other, especially if you've got a lot of vertical space like I do here. Just stack them up against, uh, on top of each other, and then you've got vertical space as opposed to just wasting it. So I've got uh, kettle cleaners in there. On the top, I've got sponges. And I've got space to still add on more if I need more. So these are really, really good. They save you on space. And I bought them for $42 at Crazy Plastics as well. Over in here, I've just got some dishwashing tablets for my dishwasher. And then I just put um, a little peg on top of there. When I've opened it and I can't close it again, I just fasten it again with the peg. It's just a hack that I use. So this is my underneath the sink, guys. Let's move on. So unfortunately for me, I'm not able to fit everything that I need under the sink because of that geezer. So I keep my laundry items in here, uh, in a cabinet just next to the sink. Uh, so what I've got up here, the top shelf, is my laundry powder. I bought these in Feb, no, no, I bought these in Mr. Price Home. I uh, just basically take my washing powder and then I uh, pour it in there. And then that's where we serve it from when we're doing our washing in the washing machine. It looks much better, guys. And also those plastic bags that the Omo and the Surf comes in are just a bit unsightly. This is more cohesive. Then I've got milk bottles that I got from Pet Home. This is where I keep my Stay Soft. And again, I use refills. Refills are the way to go. So much cheaper. And as long as you've got your nice bottles, you've got your own bottles, then you can keep your own stuff, guys. Uh, it's also good to recycle this way. So at the bottom there, we've just got vinegar. We use a lot of vinegar in this house because I'm trying to use it for cleaning as opposed to using stuff like Andy Andy. So here's a quick hack for Fikis. Instead of keeping your dishwashing liquid in the bottle that it comes in, I like to use these soap dispensers. I got these from Mr. Price Home. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And then this would be the toothbrush holder that you'd normally use that for. And I put my sponges in there. I put my dishwashing liquid in there. Then I've placed everything on a dish. Look at how pretty it looks. Tell me about a stylish kitchen, guys. This looks amazing. My sister was here last night and she was like, I'm going to go buy this tomorrow. This is what I want to hear, guys. If you're going to be extra, be extra in your kitchen, be extra with your sink. Just do it. It looks amazing. So I recently helped my mother organize underneath her sink as well. Here's some footage that I took of that process. I will just fast forward it and uh, show you the process that I underwent to make it 
look as decent as I could. Enjoy! So this is how it looked like before I started cleaning up and organizing. It was a mess. I mean, we had things in here that even she had not seen in three, four, five years. So the first job I had to do, of course, was to take everything out and get it nice and cleaned up. So after removing everything from the cupboards, I now had to clean it out and I did this with an all-purpose cleaner. Some of these things were stuck there, I couldn't get rid of them, but I did as best as I could. There was a big spill at the bottom of the cupboard uh, that I was not able to remove. I think my mom may have to replace that board altogether, but we worked around this. So after all the cleaning came my favorite part of this, which is organizing and making everything look nice and pretty. I used uh, these organization bins or trays or containers that I got from Crazy Plastics and I just put the like products together. So all the toilet paper is going in one bin, then I'm going to put the kitchen uh, uh, kitchen appliances and kitchen uh, products in one and then toilet products in another one. The idea is just to make sure your items that you use on a daily basis are stacked together and for the same purpose they all stack together. I then went on to show you how I make how I put my stay soft and washing products in other containers. So after that, it was finally time to find everything at home. And the last thing that I put inside the cupboards were these lint bins. Over here, I just folded up, actually rolled up these washcloths nicely and I placed them in the lint bins. 
these menus are going to be something I'm going to be using definitely over and over again. They are great for organizing and saving space, especially if you've got vertical space that you're not making use of. I would definitely recommend the loom bins. I just use these and place a lot of other goodies in there. Uh, my mom's extra light bulbs are also stacked in there. And then I just place them back uh, right in between these organizational bins. So this is how everything turned out. And I was pretty impressed. It looks way better than when I started. Much, much better. I'm really happy with this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Bye!